Peacekeepers are mostly deployed in area with ongoing or post-conflict situation. In countries like DRC and South Sudan, conflict are still going on. Due to the hostilities, these areas may lack basic needs. Thus, this brings additional challenges for women, particularly in terms of safety, privacy, and access to gender-specific facilities. It's a beginning of he for she session, but I know that he are minority here in this session, in this hall. So I try to open up he for this session. Excellency Ban Ki Moon, President General Officers, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank UN Women and the Korean Forum for Women's Empowerment for Peacekeeping for providing me with the opportunity to share my thoughts and experience. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to share my experience on the aspect of women's empowerment and gender equity, specific to UN peacekeeping operation based on my 30 years of, 36 years of experience in the Army, including four different missions under the blue flag, for four years in three different continents. Nepali Army started its peacekeeping journey since 1958. In the last 64 years, we have participated in 44 different missions. Around 150,000 Nepalese Army personnel have already contributed in peacekeeping operations around the world. At present, more than 6,000 Nepali Army are deployed in 13 different missions, making Nepal the second largest troop contributing country in the United Nations. Talking about the Nepalese Army Women Peacekeeper, we have been deploying women peacekeepers since 2000, when two female peacekeepers were deployed in UNIFIL for the first time. And today, nearly, to, to date, nearly 2,200 women peacekeepers has already served under the various role and appointment in the, in the United Nations. Currently, 560 Nepali women peacekeepers are deployed in contingent and 33 in United Nations military observer and staff officers in 13 different countries. Moreover, Nepal is the highest number of women peacekeepers among all the troop contributing countries. So, how was Nepal able to increase the number of women in United Nations peacekeeping operation? The constitution of Nepal ensured the opens women's roles in every field of our nation, including in the military. At least one-third of members of the state assembly, that is more than 33 percent, currently there are 112 women parliament in Nepal. The constitution also requires similar representation of women in all political appointments and various levels of executive body. In addition, women's rights are not just protected as a fundamental right in Nepal's constitution. But the government of Nepal has also exclusively stated that at least 15 percent of the women should be represented in all government jobs, including Nepali army. The provision has increased the opportunity for women in the Nepalese army, which has subsequently resulted in a higher number of women participating in the UN peacekeeping mission. Ladies and gentlemen, Women are an integral part of our society and are important in every field. Thus, their participation in peacekeeping operation is equally essential. Women can provide a different perspective on any kind of challenges and provide better alternatives and possible solutions. When it comes to conflict prevention and management, it requires understanding different types of issues related to the community. A diverse range of perspective on various issues from women peacekeepers is very helpful during decision makers. For instance, the challenge faced and experience gained by Nepalese women in its socio-economic conditions, educational background, and the value and beliefs in the Nepalese society have enabled them to develop a perspective that might different from the other troop-contributing countries. 
the hard experience given by Nepali women who can understand the women in host nations have been communicated to women in those missions through the direct engagement. Secondly, women in many cultures and societies are more open to communicating and cooperating with women than the men. This is essential to look up and solve gender-related issues as they can better understand and address gender-specific concern. For example, in the group of men who are focused on developing a fighting strategy against belligerent, women provide support and protection to vulnerable populations. Similarly, they can also provide access to inaccessible communities. Thus, in such communities, female peacekeepers can set, act as a key engaging with communities in a way that male peacekeepers might find challenging. Also in the most culture, local women are highly reluctant to share gender-related issues with male peacekeepers, but can freely discuss such issues with female peacekeepers. Female engagement team in Nepalese contingent have exceptionally performed well in these regards, which have been acknowledged by the mission leadership of various missions as well. Moreover, female peacekeepers can set an example to young women in conflict-affected area to participate and contribute in various aspects related to the conflict prevention and management. Getting inspired by the women peacekeepers, women in conflict area can play a key role in addressing the issues in their community. Women can also play a key role in the prevention of sexual exploitation and abuse in the workplace. Unfortunately, time and again, report of sexual exploitation and abuse involving UN peacekeepers do get rise from time to time. With the increment in number of female peacekeepers, the work space environment automatically become gender friendly. This has been vividly evident in the various UN missions, where the women peacekeepers are in the significant number, yet the case of sexual exploitation and abuse inside the camp is more or less zero. We talk about the why women's participation is essential in peace operation. Now let's discuss some of the challenges that are hindering women's participation. To find out the challenges, I decided to gather primary information from survey. So I talk with the peacekeepers trainees undergoing pre-deployment training in Birendra Peace Operation Center, where out of 250 trainees that were surveyed, 84 were repeating their mission, 41 were women and 209 are men. They gave some interesting idea. First and foremost, the problem is cognitive level. It's our thought, it's our belief. The stereotype societal mindset in many of the troops contributing countries has restricted women's participation in job and roles that are conventionally thought to be for men only. For instance, if we Google that's man's job, what's a man's job? The first answer will be military, followed by firefighting, construction works, logger, and so on. Whereas womanly job are mentioned as a family rising, teaching, caregiving responsibilities. Such stereotype of thought discourage women in hindering their recruitment in the military and furthermore the peacekeeping roles. In country like Nepal, socio-cultural hurdles have limited women's role in the society. However, becoming the changes in the education system, increase public awareness and strict and formulation of and formulation and implementation of women-friendly policies have resulted in change the perception of Nepali society and this has allowed more women to join the military. In the last six decades, six decade, the representation of women personnel in the Nepali army has increased from zero to about 6,000. Two Nepali peacekeepers, future peacekeepers, they are here in the, with us. As a result, female participation in UN mission has also increased. By removing such sensitive and thoughts, women from protective society and cultural background can also join security force and participate in peace operations in the long run. Similarly, in addition to challenging geographical location and hostile weather, the lack of woman-friendly facilities also implies the woman from participating in mission. Peacekeepers are mostly deployed in area with ongoing or post-conflict situation. In countries like DRC and South Sudan, conflict are still going on. 
Due to the hostilities, these areas may lack basic needs. Thus, this brings additional challenges for women, particularly in terms of safety, privacy, and access to gender-specific facilities. Women peacekeeper under infantry role may expose such adverse conditions during various operations, patrols, and moves. Thus, such unfavorable conditions discourage women from participating in UN missions. Hence, to ensure an appropriate number of women peacekeepers in the mission, basic facilities and secure environment must be safeguarded for women. And moreover, the fear of sexual harassment and gender-based violence arising from difficult workplace environment have demotivated women's personal in the UN participation. Sexual harassment, discrimination, or gender-based violence during deployment affect the psychological as well as physical well-being of the personnel. Thus, this affects their number. To overcome this, a secure workplace environment has to be prepared for women which they can trust. During the initial woman peacekeeper deployment from the Nepalese army, the level of fear of sexual harassment was high, and it is significantly decreased to these days. Due to the implementation of proper policies and creation of safe working environment, the United Nations has also strictly mandated zero tolerance for sexual harassment and the abuse, and this message has to be vigorously disseminated around the world. Some additional suggestions to improve the woman participation in the UN. Provision of additional benefits and incentive to the woman's peacekeeper, such as paid leaves, additional leaves to spend more time with your family, to and fro transportation cost facilities during leave or shorter deployment period for woman peacekeepers. Next is prioritize and maximize the local woman recruitment in the host countries at all level. This can be done by providing them with the necessary training, educated resources, and suitable platform to carry out activities of peace operation. United Nations Department of Peacekeeping Operation Field Mission can focus on various media platform and carry out outreach program to raise public awareness about the importance and effectiveness of women's participation in peace operation. This can be done through media campaign, social events, and engagement that endeavor that advocate the women's participation in the military and as well as peacekeeping mission. Ladies and gentlemen, to conclude, women's participation in the United Nations is utmost importance. Nearly half of the population is women. One of the most vulnerable in conflict zone is women. And the most suppressed in the many developing and underdeveloped countries are also women. UN being the role model for the equality, it is imperative that the organization ensure maximum own participation. This is equally applicable when it comes to the uniform peacekeepers as well. However, there are still various challenges to women's empowerment in the peacekeeping. And we don't have any alternative but to overcome these challenges. Some challenges can, can be overcome by simple adjustment, such as develop women-friendly policies, improvement in the living conditions, and make safer work environment. But some challenges we cannot change, and thus compensation based on monetary aspect, leave or probing the mission's tenure can be added to. In this regard, the Nepalese Army has been trying to overcome the various challenges regarding the women's peacekeeper participation and UN. Here, I conclude my talk. I once again thank the organizer for inviting me and providing me with this platform to share my experience. I hope all the invitees here has a comfortable stay and uh, they have got successful and bright future. Thank you.